Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on aerial gunnery in the DCS MiG-15 BIS. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the two NS-23KM 23mm cannons and the single N-37D 37mm cannon. Let's first turn on power to the two 23mm cannons and then the 37mm cannon. I'll press and hold the button here to load the top 23mm cannon, then the lower 23mm cannon, and now the 37mm cannon. The three red lights here correspond to the cannons being loaded. Here we have the ASP-3N gun sight. We'll turn on power to the gun sight with the switch here. Let's talk about some of the gun sight controls. You can rotate the ring here to adjust the gun sight to match the expected target wingspan. For example, the F-86 Sabre has a wingspan of about 10 meters. The lever here toggles mechanical backup gun sight. This will be useful if your reflector gun sight gets damaged in combat. Moving down, rotating the knob here adjusts the brightness of the gun sight. On the left side of the gun sight, is the cage and uncaged sight lever. When in the down position, the sight is caged and will stay in a fixed position. When in the up position, the sight is in the uncaged mode and the sight will move around based on the target wingspan setting and the maneuvers of your own aircraft. You'll want to keep the sight caged until you're lining up on the target. The sun filter is handy when you're engaging a target in the sun. The final function is the sight range setting. Rotate the twist grip on the throttle to make the gun sight match the wingspan of your target. Those are the basic functions of the gun sight. So let's go ahead and jump into an engagement and see how these are used in practice. I'm coming into the merge with the saber with the gun sight fixed. Gun safety off with left control in space. Coming around, I generally want to keep the speed between 600 and 650 kilometers per hour. This tends to be the sweet spot for the MiG-15 BIS in air combat maneuvering. Below those speeds, the aircraft can become quite a handful if you're not careful. When it's 700 kilometers per hour, the aircraft can really start to feel like a bus. If you get to 800 kilometers and higher, then you're going to start to really feel a control lock and the aircraft will be unresponsive. In such situations, you want to use the air brakes or at least get your nose over the horizon to bleed off some speed. Avoid reducing throttle unless you have to, given the really slow engine response time. My target's climbing now, I'm bleeding off energy, and I'm pulling him into the gun sight. I've unlocked the sight, and the wingspan looks good. Free 37mm elevator removal. A single hit with a 37mm cannon will often do catastrophic damage. This concludes this tutorial on gunnery in the MiG-15 BIS.